Good morning. Right, take two of Bray Bar 200 build series. Look at me rusty rivets. They'll all get sorted when it goes in the paint bay. We'll look nice with them on though. Anyway, sorry it's been a long time coming again. But, uh, just open that hatch. Maybe a bit of lighting. But uh, yeah, we've had crick in the way, um, which was just about recovered from. We had a fantastic crick this year. We thought we'd got five orders at the show, which is unheard of. We actually picked up six orders. So thanks for everybody that helped out. We'll, we'll go through the thank yous at the end. So anyway, four cabin, we've got the wardrobes in. Um, we've got seating areas going down both sides, we're not in yet, but we've had the floor put down, so all the floors fitted, so it's a bit of a mess inside, we've had to get everything up out the way, what a lovely day, so the floors are, it's a candine floor, the only difference is this uh, strip in the middle. We've gone darker with that one. It's normally the coffee strip, but just to, to match the dark oak or the black oak that's um, going on on the top sides, which is looking lovely. The beads and that aren't in yet, um, nor is the covering on this wall, which I'm doing something a bit different with, which I'm not looking forward to doing because you've only got one shot at it and if you get it wrong you have to start all over again anyway that's my problem but yeah oak this dark oak looks beautiful lovely so front cupboards in can't remember how far we'd gone last time but guys are just making the just starting to make the steps up that come in around this way off the front deck um, let's get under the this is the bedroom under the front deck the second one so we've got our little corner units in they've got to be lined out yeah obviously and we've got the switches and stuff going on the wall all the solid oak tops are in now TV's going in that corner and then we've got all the fancy lighting and the pelmets and that that will go on some more dark um, the dark oak trims around there it's looking back through the boat a nice cozy little room and then this is back in the front where the wardrobes are and that's where the seats are going to go so you'll actually be able to set up in here. A lovely place to be. Right. Get that through. So yeah, we've done. We're getting on with it. We've got obviously we've got four other boats in build um, as you probably know some of you will know engines are virtually impossible to get at the moment but we have got managed to get the one for 198 that's all in fitted that boat's now finished so the video for that will be coming very soon there's the wine cellar that's one of one of our usual ones that all lights up when you open it. I'm sure you know by now, I level oven, microwave, fridge. Our pull-outs will be going in there. That's our little unit. Obviously that goes up on the wall there. Bathroom cabinet with a mirrored door. It's going to be our usual pull-out airing cupboard. And then we've got base of the bed all in. 
it's a bit of a mess everywhere but obviously we had to clean the, clear the floors out of the way for the get that down and then the steps are in now at the back which are lovely the storage in and all of these all of these steps lots of storage some of the electrics gone in or going in inverter's not in obviously but uh, batteries are all in so there's over a ton of Go all the way down to the base plate because this, this is a hybrid from Hybrid Marine, another one. In fact, all the boats we've got in build at the moment and all the orders we took at Crick are all for Hybrid Marine um, driven boats, as is this one. So, yeah, overhead's going up there. Um, we've got some of the ceiling up, which is this. Faux leather, which looks lovely. Yeah, pleased with how it's coming on. But like I say, we are concentrating on other builds. We're extremely busy at the minute, so do apologise for the wait on this video. Um, I'll get the next video done as soon as I can. Probably later on today, actually. But there you go. That's where we're where we're at. So all coverings coming on next. So before I go, I just want to thank um, everybody at Creek. We had it, like I say, we had a great show. Um, I want to thank all the uh, everyone that that uh, took the time and voted for us. You know that means that means an awful lot. So we really appreciate your your votes. Um, and all your lovely comments, uh, everyone that came on the boat. Uh, it was really nice to, to hear them. Uh, also, massive thanks to the all the Bray Bar owners and all their help over the weekend. They all volunteer their time. It blows me away every time, every year, um, when we get to Crick. They're absolutely fantastic. We couldn't do it without you. So, massive thank you to the owners, all the Bray Bar Barmy Army, as we call them. Um, massive thank, thank you to Donna. Shout out. <laughs> uh, yeah, couldn't do things without you. Um, huge thanks to the team. Who are great. But knock it out of the park. Um, do a fantastic job. We've got a great team here at Bray Bar. Um, can't thank them enough. Um... And lastly, a massive thank you, huge thank you to Jill for taking the boat to Crick Boat Show and letting lots and lots and lots of people through it and showing people through herself. She was absolutely brilliant. So thanks, Jill. And we're going to come and see you when you get back. I know you're not far back, not far away now from your mooring. So when you get back, we're going to come and visit you. We might even buy you a nice meal. <laughs> so thanks, Jill. You were brilliant. Okie doke. I think that's it for now. I've probably forgot loads of things. Um, but yeah, more videos to come. I'll do the videos as, as um, quick as I can, but we really are extremely busy building boats, as you can imagine. And we've just got back from Crick. So great to see everybody at Crick. Uh, and we'll see you, see you next year. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon.